2024 coverage now. We are meeting two candidates running for District 5 in San Benito County. Action News 8 reporter Leslie Duarte has more. Voters in San Benito County District 5 will decide on who will represent them. District 5 is in the northern part of the county and includes downtown Hollister, the airport, parts of Highway 25 and 156, as well as Lover's Lane. The two candidates are former Hollister Mayor Ignacio Velasquez and incumbent B. Gonzalez. B. Gonzalez was born and raised in San Benito County and has lived in District 5 for six years. She's a former educator and has served as a District 5 supervisor since 2020. I am supportive of the community. I, I was born and raised here, invested in the community. I'm 62 years old. I've raised grandchildren in this community. She says she is running for re-election because she wants to finish the work she started. Some of Gonzalez's top issues include public safety, fixing the roads, keeping the hospital open, and bringing more affordable housing to San Benito County. We have a whole entire population of residents in this community that cannot find a rental to live in. Let's build and develop uh, residential units, not R1, R2, and R3, where we can get multifamilies in there, you know, multi-story um, apartment complexes of some sort whether it's for low-income farm worker housing or if it's just workforce housing. Gonzalez says infrastructure has been an ongoing focus for her. I started off four years ago working on the roads. When I was on the board, um, our board allocated $28 million to fix the roads. Gonzalez also wants to make sure law enforcement gets more support from the county. The other one is to make sure that I support law enforcement, and I have done that with every vote that's come to me at the Board of Supervisors to make sure that they have the equipment, the tools, the manpower, the, um, the full-time employees, so that they can go ahead and, and do the job that needs to be done for the county. Ignacio Velasquez has lived in San Benito County for 30 years and moved to District 5 in October. From 2012 to 2022, he served as mayor of Hollister. He says his experience as mayor will help him lead San Benito County. What I found when I was mayor is the thought that growth brought us revenue, and it was, again, the opposite. What I found was we needed to learn how to spend our money wisely and invest it wisely, and that's how we finally got the returns at the city level to do the good things. Some of Alaska's top issues include slowing the growth, controlling county spending, keeping the hospital open, and fixing the roads. The county has a spending problem. They need to get that solved first so we can move to the next steps. On roads, Velasquez says roads need to be invested in before housing. We have to fix the roads first. It, they are a disaster. We have to fix the infrastructure. We need to work on better planning so we don't have more traffic in our community. We're impacted at our schools. We have issues at our hospital. These are all things we need to solve before we build thousands and thousands of houses. Velasquez says his opposition to more housing comes from his support of farmers. We have to choose. Do we want to eat houses or vegetables and fruits? Simple as that. You cannot destroy farmland and expect to grow crops. We don't have to be the suburb of Silicon Valley. We are a rural farming community. We need to protect it. Can we grow responsibly? Yes, but not the way it's happening right now. Another issue concerning voters is the future of the only hospital in the county. Gonzalez and Velasquez believe Hazel Hawkins Memorial Hospital needs to stay open. I was the first supervisor that brought the Hazel Hawkins um, hospital crisis to the attention of the board. If we close the hospital, if the hospital doors get closed because of the seismic issues, we will never be able to open up the doors again. So we have to maintain and do whatever we can to save the hospital. I have been the champion to save the hospital since day one. Here's another example of bad planning. We have a situation where a hospital, it's not controlling their finances properly. They go and claim bankruptcy. They want the city and county to give them millions of dollars. Then they turn around and they pay their executive director, who does not have very much experience, $450,000 a year. I 100% agree, county should be more involved in what's going on at the hospital. 